What's up, y'all? This is Dominic with Poor Pumper Society. We are out in the country today, which is where most of our clients reside, and which is the reason they all have septic tanks, because the nearest town to this specific home is about five miles out, weaving through hills, private land. So you can imagine if you're trying to connect one or two homes out here to the city's main sewer line, it can get expensive, so it's more cost efficient to just have your own on-site sewage facility or septic system, as we call it. Now, I'm pulling up now, it looks like a newer home, but even then on these newer homes, sometimes they're renovations and they keep the existing septic tank. So I guess we'll find out as we pull closer on. I can see the customer waiting for us already, so keep you posted. If this is your first time watching, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the notification bell that'll let you know when I upload a new video. And if you wanna try out any of the equipment I use in my videos, you can check the description box below. Those are affiliate links. So it helps out me as well as it helps out the channel. And without further ado, let's get to pumping. So I did a walkthrough with the customer. He said it was installed in 2016. He's got everything dug up nice and neat, which I love to see pretty shallow so I don't even know if they would need risers we always recommend them but if the homeowner is willing to dig them up himself more power to him uh, don't think he needs risers so we're gonna pull up to the gate right here and then back up to it and then get to pumping it out I don't know how many people have been living here but 2016 that's about seven years since installation so we generally recommend pumping it out every three to five and we'll, we're about to get a good look and see what it's going to look like after seven years without having it pumped out. Looks like a conventional thousand gallon tank. With two compartments. And this customer is awesome. He's waving me back in right now. <laughs> Go. That one has some fight in it. Oh yeah. Whew. See just a little bit of that gas. <sighs> there, yeah. that's a good sign. We yeah, show up to a, breaking down the uh, yes, sir. Yeah. So, all that stuff's probably sinking to the bottom, mm -hmm. which is good because we're going to pump that out right now mm -hmm. and then um, getting all this out, it prevents it from flowing through the drain field. And that'll keep it lasting a really long time. Yeah, even uh,
we got that job all finished up. The customer was super cool. He dug up both the inlet and the outlet side for us, which I appreciate. And I mean, you could just tell he he's the type of person that likes to keep his stuff nice, organized, and in check. So he tell he told me he had been using Green Gobbler once a month. And I could tell because there wasn't much of a floating scum layer, but once you got to the bottom, you start seeing all that sludge. Now, a lot of people are under the impression that if you put an additive into your septic tank, it's just gonna magically make everything disappear. That's not the case. What it'll do is it'll kind of break down that top floating scum layer and it has to go somewhere. So it's either gonna go out to your drain field or it's gonna sink and go to the bottom of the tank. It's not completely evaporated. So even if you do put those additives into your tank, it does not completely remove pumping out the septic tank from the equation. So I have a feeling this guy, his tank, his whole system is gonna last a really, really long time because he does a mix of, mixture of both. He, he puts an additive, he watches what, he puts down the drain, and he's gonna get it pumped out within a five year increments because I think it's just him and his wife out there. So really, really, really good example of what a nice, clean, well-maintained septic system can look like. And that does it for this video. We're on this bumpy back county road. So work our way out to the next one. And as always, I appreciate y'all watching. Take it easy.